For these two examples, we'll look at similar triangles that are nested inside each other and look at a strategy for solving for an unknown measurement. In the first triangle, we have it on its side and we have one measurement is 150 on the base and then we have another is 180 on the base. Um, so the best strategy here is to separate the triangles and let's reconstruct the small triangle. And on the small triangle we can see that its vertical side is going to be 150 and we can see that its base is 75. Now the big triangle that we, we that we reconstruct has the small triangle inside of it. So when we put its vertical measure, we have to take into account that the vertical measure is including the 150 and the 180 measurement. So we need to add those together. So 150 plus 180 is 330, and that's going to be the total measure of that vertical side. And its base is equal to x. Sometimes you can easily see a scale factor where they're multiplying the small side by a number to get the big, but sometimes it's difficult to calculate that. So an easy way to solve for x here is to create a proportion. These, angles are, these triangles are similar to each other because they have common um, angles that are congruent to each other. They both have that right angle, and they also both share this tip right here that is the same angle, so they have uh, two angles that are equal, so that's enough to prove that these are similar to each other. So my proportion is going to start with x, and I'm going to match up x with the other base. x over 75 equals, so notice I went with the big to the small, so I'm going to go back to the big, and I'm going to do 330, which is the big vertical side, over 150. And then we cross multiply x times 150 is 150x, put equals, and then we're going to multiply diagonally 75 times 330. And that's 24,750. Now to solve for x, we need to divide by 150 on both sides of this equation. So x equals 24,750 divided by 150, or 165. So that is going to be the measure of the base, and since we don't have any units of measure, we'll just say 165 units. In the second picture, this triangle is facing right side up. So let's go ahead and reconstruct the small and the big. For the small triangle, the vertical measure is, a, is x, and the base of that is 6. And then the big triangle, which goes all the way down, its vertical side has x and 12. Now you need to add those together and you get x plus 12 units. Um, x plus 12 is not the same as 12x. Notice you're going from an addition to a multiplication, so that's not equivalent. So we have x plus 12 units for the vertical side and its bit, big base is 10. So for my equation, I'm going to do x over 6. You can also just stay with the small or the same triangle and just do a ratio of its sides, x over 6, and then I'm going to do x plus 12 over 10. Um, to do this ratio correctly, if you do vertical over base, you have to match that with vertical over base again. Multiply diagonally. So I have x times 10, which is 10x, equals 6 times x plus 12. Now with 6 times x plus 12, you do need to distribute that 6 and multiply both terms by 6. So that gives us 6x plus 72. Now we have 10x is equal to 6x plus 72. We need to get our letters on the left, so I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. That gives me 4x is equal to 72. Now divide both sides by 4, and 72 divided by 4 is equal to 18. So x is equal to 18 units.